Well, hi, here's another project we're going to try out. This is an animated semaphore, and there's a picture of it right there. It's it's a model-powered semaphore that we picked up off of a rack somewhere. And anyway, we remodified it. We figured, well, we've got to have this thing animated. So what we did, we installed a Aristocraft switch motor on the bottom of it on a piece of plate. And we just wanted something to I was just kind of go up and down when we threw a block, you know, because we're, we're track power. And with tra track power, we decided we'll go ahead and make this uh, up here with some kind of a way of signaling. But, yeah, it's, it's not really made to go on the ground. So what we did, we made this up for uh, Joel Harrison's layout. And he's, he's about three foot off the ground, so he's got a place to put it on his layout. And, the mechanism's been hanged down underneath. But anyway, you can take a look at the mechanism. There's a switch. Uh, it's just a wristcraft switch. And uh, it just goes up and down, which would throw the throw on, on a set of points. But instead, we turn it over on the side. And we mounted it so it turned the semaphore up and down. And the semaphore has a light in it. And that's, that's 18 volt light. So we decided to go ahead and, and power up the light. And then we'll just go ahead and put the blocks with a double pull double throw uh, switch so we can have one circuit to operate the switch motor and the other circuit to operate the block that we had. So anyway, we're going to show you a little diagram of it. and kind of It's real simple. It really works nice. And uh, this diagram is showing that we're going to need 12 volts DC. Or that's uh, say 12 volts or 0 to 21 volts really. We don't need 12 volts. Whatever your throttle is, it's going to your track power. The other part of it is, is the 18 volts uh, for your AC, for your coil that goes on the semaphore. And this diagram is showing it where the light is uh, 18 volts and also uh, controlled off the double pull throw motor, uh, or I should say the double pull throw switch will operate the motor. We're, we set it up on a pallet so you can see because it hangs down underneath so we can see how it looks. And when you energize it, that semaphore arm will go up and then the light will change to green. And that's that's the standard on it, it'll be green. So when we energize it, we want to energize it so it stays red. So we fixed it up so it would go red when it's non-energized. Right now it's it's, it's energized position. So it, it's in the, uh, in the green position. Anyway, here's another little Diagram up showing it again. Uh, you can see the 18 volts goes to the coil in the bottom. There's a double pole throw uh, switch that operates the coil and also operates your track. There's a picture of the track. And then up above you see the 18 volts AC for your light. So it's very simple and uh, we're going to show it again. We'll show it sitting on a pallet. It's, uh, there's two of them we made up for him. Uh, anyway, they work great for when you're running a block, if you want to signal off a block and say, okay, you want to stop the train in this block. We well, want to signal for a stop. So when you get the train up to where you're at and where you want to set it, then flip that switch and t shut the block off. When you shut the block off, you're going to energize this switch. Hope you enjoyed it. It's just a fast little animation that uh, can be done anywhere. Talk to you later.